I have a new titanium cook set I want to share with you today. This is the Mount Logan cook set from the company Cook and Escape. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, a couple of things. First, I want to thank the company King Camp. They are the distributors of Cook and Escape pots and pans, and they offered to send this out to me, the Mount Logan cook set, so that I could share it with you. So when they did reach out to me about three or four months ago, two things drew the, my attention to this and the reason why I decided to accept their offer. First off, it's square. And that may mean that's, that's different. And I wanted to see if there were any advantages to having a square pot and pan like this. And there are a few I'll mention in a few minutes time. The other thing is Cook and Escape is a company that was created by a Canadian, Damien Tremblay, who lives in the Yukon Territories. He is the owner and creator of the Cook and Escape line of pots and pans, and that was the other reason I chose to test these out. All right, so what I'll do is I'm just going to bring the camera down and give you a few close-ups off this pot and pan, all the dimensions I will be putting in the video description, just to shorten the video up. Uh, I just want to talk about a few of its key features, and then I'll talk about my experiences using it. All right, like I mentioned, I'm going to be putting all the physical dimensions and everything else in the video description along with the links where you can take another look at the Mount Logan cook set as well as the other items that Cook and Escape produce. They'll all be in the video description. I'll just mention a couple things now. First off, it is a pot and a pan set. This is a little fry pan. I'll show you that in a minute. It is square in nature and the Probably the key things to know about it is it's 1100 milliliter volume for the pot and 300 milliliter volume for the top. Now, that's a good size pot and pan set and it actually works out quite well. I just want to show you what I have inside of this. I'll come back to the pan in a minute. I was actually able to put my coffee cup and my coffee maker, which is inside of this, inside the pot. So just it, it helps with, uh, you know, saving a little bit of space in the pack. Let me just drop those items out. The other thing about the pot is that there are uh, graduation marks, just trying to find them here so you can see them. Oh yeah, there they are. They're on the inside here, so they offer both metric and imperial graduations for your amount of fluids or whatever else you have inside of there. And of course it does have some photo butterfly handles right there. Not really big, but big enough for the purpose of what it is. Now the pan is a little different, so the pan has a fold over little pan handle which locks in place like that with the little slider. The inside of the pan has some type of a coating and I cannot figure out or find out from the company what it is. I know it's likely either a ceramic coating or a Teflon coating. Hopefully if it's Teflon it is PFOA free meaning that it is safe to use. I tend to lean towards some type of ceramic only because I can see sparklers all through it like ceramic coatings have. Regardless, I have used it a few times for cooking and it hasn't flaked off or chipped off or anything else. But we'll talk about some cautions I have and some thoughts I have on that in a few minutes. All right, like I said, there's not a lot to it. You can see I have had it in the fire. I have cooked eggs in it, but what I think I'll do is I'll get a fire going now and just to make myself a cup of coffee and talk about its benefits, pros and cons, if there are any. All right, let's check and see. Oh, water is boiling hard. That's great. I'm just gonna take the pot off of the fire for a second to give it a chance to come just below the boiling point. A little bit better for making the coffee with. Doesn't take long when it's cool out. Now here is the advantage of this square pot and that is the fact that it's so easy to pour with. It's like having a spout on a kettle. All right. Fill that right up with water. Maybe a little bit more. All right, let's put that aside. All right, once the coffee is made, we'll wrap this video up with a few more comments for the Cook and Escape Mount Logan pot set. It works. It's a nice titanium cook set. Uh, Size-wise, I actually like the 1100 milliliter. Anything between 900 milliliters and 1100 milliliters is a great size. It has much more versatility for the things I like to do out here in the woods. I mean, look, that's, that's a good size pot, right? You can actually cook a small meal in there quite easily. And, and I have as well, well, at least heated up some meals. I haven't cooked anything necessarily from scratch, but I've certainly heated up, heated up some meals in this. And I like the little fry pan 
I have cooked some couple of eggs in it. I will say this, and I did say I'd share my experience with it. Uh, I used a little bit of butter and actually ghee in here because it works better for uh, cooking with, and an egg, one egg, and so I did an egg. I felt I needed the butter because I wasn't just sure how sure how well the uh, nonstick surface would have worked. It worked well with the butter. I can't say how well the nonstick surface would work, but I will suggest this because this is made of thin titanium you want to control how much heat. And I didn't want a lot of heat on the bottom of this that might cause it to buckle, might cause whatever that coating is to flake off. So I did use it over an open flame, a little wood stove, like the one I demonstrated using this on a few minutes ago to make my coffee. Uh, it was just a matter of keeping it the heat reasonable, which meant lifting it off the flames every once in a while. It cooked and it cooked well, so I think it works well that way. So it, overall, it is just a good size cook set that has enough room to store a few things inside of it. And sing the single biggest adventure or, or advantage for this cook set is the fact that the square nature allows you to pour water out of the corner of it just as if it was a kettle. It, it's like a spout, it gives you very accurate control for pouring water in it. I've had problems doing that with the AeroPress using some of the other pots that don't have spouts on it. This is, makes it very easy. Would work great for pour over coffees as well for that matter. It would also work well for draining any um, uh, pastas or anything else you want because you'd be able to hold something across the corner to drain the water out, making it easier to control the flow. That's my thoughts on using it anyway. Right now it's awfully dirty from that little fire I had there. Uh, okay, that's all I want to say about the Mount Logan cook set from Cook and Escape. And I will be putting the information where you can take another look at this if you're interested. That'll be in the video description. I'll put the specifications, the size, the weights, and the, the volumes, that type of thing, will all be in the video description as well. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.